Okay, so this video is going to show you how you can remove the old Windows Mail and Calendar app from your Windows 10 computer. Now, this particular app here has mainly now been replaced by the new Outlook app, this one here, which seems to be a thousand times better than the old one. Many customers complained on the old one that their emails would work for a little while and then suddenly they'd stop working and they'd either have to reset the app or restart their computer to get the emails coming back in again. Now, Microsoft have replaced that now with this new app, but in many cases, the old app still remains on the system. So this guide is going to show you how you can get rid of it off of your Windows 10 system. Stick around. All the details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So as I say, Microsoft have replaced this Windows Mail and Calendar app and they've replaced it now with the Outlook new app, this up here that you can see on the screen. Now we want to find out how we can remove the old app off of there and replace it with this new one. So probably the best thing to do, first of all, is if you haven't got the Outlook new app, then go into the Microsoft Store, which is normally just down the bottom on the taskbar there, this here, or click on the Start button and then just type on your keyboard Store. And then hopefully it should say Microsoft Store under best match. Left click once on that. And once this opens up, then all we need to do is click into the search box just in the top of the screen there where it says search apps, games, movies and more. Click in there and just type Outlook. Once we've typed that, you're looking for this app here, Outlook for Windows app, the one with new, just in the bottom right hand corner of the icon. Left click once on that and then click Get. If it's already installed on your system, then at that point, instead of having Get, it will have the word Open there. That means it's already been downloaded to your system. Now, this bit might take a bit of time. Just be patient with it let it download um, and then install. As you can see, mine's now downloaded and it's just now saying installing. And there we go, it's now installed. So first things first, we wanna make this, if we do wanna use this Outlook new app as our default app, we do need to go into it just by clicking on it and then we need to set the app up. Just follow the instructions on the screen. If you've already got an email account set up in the older system, in this system here, the Windows Mail and Calendar app, then hopefully it'll give you the opportunity to import that across into the new Outlook. But if not, you can enter your email address in there and just follow the prompts on the screen to set up the app. So once you've done that, you could always pin the Outlook app to the bottom of the screen. So if you've got this icon just down here, click on the right mouse button and then click pin to taskbar. And that will make sure that that stays at the bottom of the screen there. If you've not got the Outlook app open at the bottom of the screen, then just open the Outlook app just from the start menu, then it'll appear and then it'll give you the option to right click on it and pin to taskbar. If you've got unpinned from taskbar there, then it's all right, it's already pinned, just ignore that. So back to business. So for next thing we wanna do is we wanna go into the start menu there, go into settings just up there, and we want to make the new Outlook app our default app. So uh, to do that, click in apps, and then click on default apps just over there on the left. And as you can see, my default mail app is still the old one, this one here that I'm gonna get rid of. So click on mail up there and click on Outlook with the word new in brackets after it. And there you go, that's made that the default mail app. So that means if the system needs to automatically open up an email system, it's gonna open up the Outlook new system if it needs to automatically do that. So next thing we wanna do is we wanna click on apps and features just there on the left. 
and we want to scroll down the list and we're looking for mail and calendar just there. Move your mouse over mail and calendar, left click once, then move your mouse over uninstall, left click once and move your mouse over the second uninstall and then left click once. And that will remove mail and calendar from your computer. So the next thing we need to do is just close this down by clicking on the cross in the top right hand corner. So there you go, that has now got rid of the old mail and calendar app and replaced it with the new Outlook app. I hope this video helped and if it did, consider hitting that thanks button and making a donation to this channel. Or have a look in the description down below if you wanna have a look through my Amazon shop or you're in the market for a VPN or looking for a Fire TV stick, Fire TV cube or Fire Stick accessories, then have a look in the description down below. We've got some loads of great links down there for you with loads of great deals. Buying, subscribing and donating really does help support this channel. It helps me to be able to spend more time researching to bring you these great videos. And whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos for you right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money. And if whilst you're looking through my videos, you see something that you think your friends, your family, or your work colleagues might like to see, then please don't forget to share these videos on your social media timelines. Check me out on X. I'm at CWTEK. You can also check out my website. It's CWTEK.co.uk. Thanks for watching and speak to you again soon.